My first gamer tag ever used to be Captain Obvious. Um, Damien used to be Captain Newbie. We both used to be captains. I don't know. It was fun. It was no, <laughs> no superior rank, no inferior rank. Yeah, until, until high school, we didn't live apart almost at all. We, would, we moved all over the world, living in Fiji and Mexico and Japan and Spain and France and, yeah, the US for the most of it, for the rest of it, um, from California initially. But yeah, we moved all over, homeschooling the whole time. And until like high school and college, we didn't really spend much time apart. So we grew super close together and just got used to getting along because it, it's a long time to spend with someone if you don't get along necessarily, so. One thing that I always enjoy doing with my brother Dakota is uh, road trips. Um, <laughs> when we road trip with pretty much anyone else, there's, there's always like some uncomfortableness, some, some you know, awkward situations or just like being frustrated in traffic and things like that. And with Dakota, it's never that way. We're always like chilling. We're like, oh, this traffic for like four hours. We'll just sit back, like listen to some tunes you like and like hang out. Um, and that's always really grounding for me. Besides Overwatch, Damien and I hang out, um, I don't know, all the time when we're around, um, just like, well, playing Overwatch or watching Overwatch or just hanging out and doing other things like playing Magic the Gathering. We do that quite a bit. Um, Commander, it's pretty fun. Look into it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What else do we do? Everything, I guess. So it's hard, it's hard to like say specific things that we do together because we kind of just do everything together. I've been taking a break from school for emotional issues um, and uh, haven't been playing for a few months now. Um, but I, I always enjoy tuning in for the streams and the YouTube videos um, and uh, checking up on, on how my teammates are doing. It's been hard to try to be there for him. He's been having a rough time being away, just not being exposed to college and all the friends or even being at home and all of our friends are at school there. So um, yeah, it's been hard for him, been hard for me. I've missed him tremendously. So. Even before showing up at school, I had a few personal tragedies. Um, my parents split up, and uh, my uh, my girlfriend had passed away in a car crash, and so I was even coming into school with with some trauma um, in my life, and uh, that's affected me throughout. And it just kind of came to a head uh, a few months ago when I when I uh, stopped playing and stopped being here for a little while. Mostly, just couldn't handle trying to balance classes and playing games and all of the rest, he just needed to focus on classes and focus on his mental health. And games were not helping with that, and so he had to retire, which is unfortunate because he was sick at Overwatch. Yeah, my time management has been <laughs> hard, um, for sure. My last two classes have been extremely difficult. It's been hard, like, balancing classes and personal life and social life. And for me, at least, school comes first. I won't touch games or any distractions until all my work is finished, and it's like the block pan definitely enforces that because all of your, <laughs> most of your assignments are end up being due the next day, at least in CS. As a guy, at least, uh, I often just don't tell my problems to people, and I've definitely had negative consequences from that. And like, just asking for my help, um, I went through a hard time when my grandmother passed around, passed away, uh, two months ago ish, and one of my friends who I wouldn't expect at all to be like a consoling or friendly or loving person. Um, he really came through for me and was like my my anchor for getting through that hard time. And it was like during <laughs> during finals, so it was kind of hard, but he definitely helped me just like recenter and at least get through my final and then like really mourn afterwards. But yeah, sometimes <laughs> the most surprising people will help you through. Anytime I'm struggling, Dakota's the first person I can talk to. I always know like there's support there, there's uh, you know, got this, like I haven't felt this exact way, but I know how you, you know, I, I understand what you're going through. And if there's anything I can do, we can always talk and uh, play video games together sometimes. I try to support my brother mostly just by trying to be there, trying to be the best brother I can, be there to talk about it or even not talk about it if that's what he needs. Dakota's an exception to the rule of it being hard to talk to you, uh, to some people about emotional issues, especially as a man. And I don't know, it, it just, doesn't apply when it comes to my brother. Um, and with, with other guys, sometimes I, I have a little bit of trouble. Um, with family, it's easier. And uh, with people I really have grown to trust, it's a lot easier too. All your friends, you, they might ha not have been there 
literally for you for a specific issue. Um, they could not know about whatever issue you're having, but I can assure you most of your friends, all of your tight friends, are gonna be there for you no matter what. And not everyone can help. Like, I've, I, I struggle with this a lot, um, helping, trying to help my brother. Like, most of the time it's not that I can't help him, it's just I don't know how to. And it's hard just being there and watching him be in hardship is hard sometimes, but sometimes it's just up to the individual to work through their stuff, but that doesn't mean you can't be there for them. I've uh, been in therapy for a while and spent a lot of time with family. Um, my mother's extended family who lives in the Midwest. Um, it's been really good to see them and be around them. Um, and it's made me feel a lot more grounded and, uh, and solid in, in myself and my emotional state. And uh, I plan to return the second semester next year and hopefully play on the Overwatch team again. Yeah, he's still been playing more responsibly now, um, just kind of casually. He's getting back into it. He's still, he's still good. His aim could use some practice. The Overwatch team is like a little family. We, uh, we all started out kind of um, a little bit of scrubs. It means um, having a team who you care about, who you play with all the time, who you see outside of just practices and games, to all of my, te all my teammates I consider my friends. And it's just, we have this sport that we get to, do, to play together. I'm part of the Frisbee team too, and it feels a lot the same in a, in a couple ways. Um, Frisbee team's bigger than the Overwatch team is, so that's different things with that. But at least for esports, it's just been getting to know some people really well, playing with them, having some conflicts, having a lot of fun, having a lot of successes, and we won SCAC, so hey, hey. <laughs> Alright. This is a dangerous. Alright, we're going we're going in. This is an easy clap. These these are barely 4.3. Come on guys, let's go.